Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a college management system using PHP's one of the widely used framework coding editor. In my last video I completed the functionality of displaying the details of colleges and their co-admins on the dashboard and in this video I will discuss the functionality of adding students into our college management system. Okay, so here I will add students in different colleges okay here you can see i have created three colleges and inside these three colleges i will start adding students okay so when i click on this add student button here you can see it's taking me to the add student function inside the admin so now let me go to admin okay here you can see i have created an admin add student function and i will create a message inside add student okay. save it and now when i refresh the page it will display me the message that means i am inside my add student method okay now instead of this message i have to call our add student view i'll just copy that and i'll just paste it here copy okay now i need to create this add student view for that i have to right click on the view folder and then click on new file then I will save it as add student dot php okay so for this I will copy the code from my register dot php or add co-admin okay. I will just call I will just select this and I'll just press control C and then I'll paste it here okay okay so i have copied the entire html of my add admin at coadmin.php okay so uh, here now let's just save it and let's refresh the page okay now it's displaying me at coadmin therefore that i need to change add student okay so for designing the form for add student i have just copied the entire html from the add co-admin page okay because i cannot write the same html code for every video okay so it will take me too much of time if i keep on writing the same html again and again in each and every video okay so if you guys are following me from the first video of this tutorial series then you will understand how to write html code in the very first video of registration okay so where i have explained how you can write the code html code for designing forms okay so you just have to uh, watch that video carefully where i have made a registration form a sign up form then you can easily create any kind of forms okay so now let me just come here okay so i want fields like ID, student name, college ID, gender, email, and course. Okay, I want to create these many fields. Okay, for that, first I will create a table inside my database TBL students, and then I want six fields. Okay, then click on go. Okay, now the first field is id second is student name and then third will be college id and then fourth gender and then email next course okay and the course will be of type varcar email is of type varcar gender where care with college id of type integer student name where care and id will be integer okay so i will set this id field as an auto increment which makes this field as a primary key and now we will click on save a little length okay okay so i have not entered the length okay so let me just select Okay. 
Okay, now let's click on save. Okay, now I have created the students table and now let's come back to our editor. Okay, so now here I need to change it to student name. Okay, and this field should also change to student name. Copy, paste here name and then copy and put it here. Okay, and then the next field is email. Okay, here okay, I'll just cut it. Okay, next one is college. Okay, so here next let it be college. Okay, and then next, okay, and the next one is email. Okay, and then gender. Okay, and this time I don't want the role. Okay, next I don't want password password again as well okay and I want a text box for entering the courses we'll just copy and we'll paste it here course okay save it okay now we need to come back to our browser and now if I refresh now you can see I have student name college name I am not able to display the college's name because I have not passed that data in my view okay so uh, next is email and then gender I have male and female okay now I will pass that college names data into my view add student for that I have to go to admin and here I will just come down okay, I'll just copy this and put it okay I'll just copy okay let's copy this just okay now now when I click on this drop down I find nothing in this drop down now okay why is okay so I have not called the model okay copy this paste it here okay now let's refresh okay now when I click on this drop down you can see it's displaying three colleges names okay now when I click on this add a request should get transferred to my create student function which I'm going to create inside my admin controller okay so I will just copy this here at the end I'll create a function public function create student okay and then go inside create student okay now we'll just refresh and now when I click on add it will take me to the create student function okay now I need to set the validation for this okay, I'll just I will take the entire code from create co admin I'll just copy Let's put it here okay and then else yeah, I want student name field student name and then next one is college name college ID okay next is email okay and then gender don't want these two this role id will change to course okay now okay we go 
validation errors then echo validation passed okay now save it okay now let's refresh now it is display okay it has to be validations validations error validation errors okay let's save it now let's refresh okay it's displaying me all these errors student name field is required college name field is required email gender course field is required okay now let's uh, once again refresh and now if i try to submit the form without entering any of these text boxes then it will give me these errors okay so now i want to display these errors on the right side of the form in red color here i want to display these errors so for that what i will do i will do the same thing what i have done for add co-admin part of the list copy and this i will call the form add student form okay now when i try to submit the form without entering information now it will display me all the errors okay now if i enter the details like suraj kumar okay and the college name will be abc and email suraj and then gender mail course it's become okay now when i click on add you will display me a message as validation pass okay now let's remove it and let's take this entire thing copy and paste it here okay now i don't want all this stuff okay next it will this this input post will return me the data that user is trying to submit okay, now let's print it go okay. tag okay copy exit and the print data okay now let's refresh the page okay now it's displaying me the data which i was trying to submit as a student okay so my name is suraj kumar college id i had selected the abc college that's why it's displaying the id of that college then email gender and course okay now i need to send that data to my model to insert inside the database okay so i have loaded the model and then i need to create a function called insert student inside my queries okay public function insert student and then i need to call this okay inside tbl student okay so i have created a function insert student uh, inside that insert student i am taking the data which i am accepting from the user inside this function okay this insert student will make a call to the insert student function inside my queries and from here i am passing the data ins inside the uh, table tbl student okay uh, if the data gets inserted successfully then it will return a value of 1 otherwise it will return a value of 0 okay if the data successfully inserted inside the table then a value of 1 will get returned here and here i am checking with that value if the if the function returns the value of 1 then i will display a message as student student added successfully fail to add student okay let's save it and then let's okay if I successfully manages to add the student then I will rewrite the user to add student form with a message as student added successfully and if I fail to add a 
student inside the table then i will again rewrite the user to the same form which is add student form with a message as fail to add student okay so now let's just save it and now let's refresh now it will it's displaying me a message as student added successfully okay now let's come to our table and now when i click on the table it will display me the first record gets inserted inside the table okay so now here you can see college id one which tells me that this student suraj kumar is a student of abc college okay so this year college id one is the college id of abc college okay now let me add few more students okay say huja ahuja and then let us let it be add it to x y z puja and then female and then course bsc let's add okay and then atul atul kumar okay and then let it be pqr okay atul at gmail.com and then gender mail and then course ba okay now let add one more as punit saksena okay. and then college name let's say abc and email as punit at gmail.com gender mail and then course as become okay now let me just click on add okay so now let's click on this tbl students table and then you will see four students gets inserted with different college ids okay so second record has the college id 2 and this last two records has a college id 3 okay so now this uh, let's go back to our dashboard okay so now i have successfully added the students for different colleges and uh, in my next video i will display you the students of each and every college okay so when i click on the students button of this table of the first row then i will display you the or uh, students of only abc college when i click on this view or students view button then i will display you the students of only xyz college okay so like that i will display you the details okay so now that we will discuss in our next video okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching